Hi, my name is Michael Pieri, and I'm a librarian at Hamden Public Library. Welcome to part two of our brief introduction to using Zoom on Apple iPhone. In part one, we demonstrated how to register for a library Zoom program and how to download the app. In this second part, we will look at how to enter a Zoom meeting and how it works once you're in a meeting. This is the main screen you'll see when you open the Zoom app. Notice that although you have registered for a meeting on Zoom and downloaded the Zoom app, you have not been asked to create a Zoom account. Creating an account on Zoom is totally optional and not necessary unless you want to host your own Zoom meetings. You can join a Zoom meeting on your iPhone in one of two ways. One way is through the link in the email that we already used. But since we're already here, let's look at the other way joining by entering a meeting ID manually in the app. First, tap the blue button labeled Join a Meeting. On the next screen, enter the meeting ID from the email invite you received previously. From this screen, you may also adjust the name that appears below your video, as well as select two options, Don't Connect to Audio and Turn Off My Video. Then tap the Join Meeting button. Note that you may also be prompted to enter a password. The password will be included in the email you received confirming your registration. Speaking of which, let's look at the other way to join a Zoom meeting on your iPhone. This is the email we received in Part 1 when we signed up for a library Zoom program. We will tap on the same link as before, but this time you will be prompted to open the Zoom app and it will automatically try to join the meeting. Here is how this looks in Safari. And here is how it looks in Chrome. If you try to join before the host has officially started the meeting, you'll see a screen like this. Once the meeting has begun, you'll either automatically join the meeting or be taken to a virtual waiting room, depending on how the host has set up the meeting. For safety and security reasons, most library programs will have a waiting room. The first time you join a meeting in the Zoom app, you will be asked to allow the app to access your camera and your microphone. Tap OK to both of these messages to proceed. Here's the message you'll see while in the waiting room. Before you enter the meeting, you'll get a video preview of how you look in your own camera. You can then choose to join the meeting with video or without video. When you join, at first you will hear no sound. You will see this message. Tap the Call Using Internet Audio button to hear the meeting audio. Now that you are in the meeting, you will be looking at the default view as shown here. The middle of the screen will display video of whomever is currently speaking. In the top right, you will see a thumbnail of your own camera if it is turned on. There are a number of controls on this screen and they are worth going over. First, the button on the top left will mute the meeting audio. This does not mute your microphone. At the bottom left of the screen, there is a button with a microphone that says mute. Tap it in order to mute yourself. To the right of this button is the button that will turn your camera on and off. Next to that is a share content button, which can allow participants to share their screen. However, in most library programs, this button will be non-functional for everyone except the host or hosts. To the right of the Share Content button is a button marked Participants. Tapping on this button will take you to a screen displaying the names of all the participants currently in the meeting, including yourself. From this screen, you can tap on your own name. This will make a menu appear that will let you raise your hand, mute your audio, or rename yourself if the host allows this. The raise hand command deserves special attention. 
In most library programs, the host will mute participants to allow only one speaker at a time. If you have a question or wish to make a comment, tapping the raise hand command will make a little hand icon show up next to your name. This will let the host or hosts know that you wish to speak. After raising your hand, please be patient since it might take a moment for the host to notice. Once the host acknowledges you, unmute yourself by tapping your name again and tapping Unmute Audio. When you're done speaking, don't forget to mute yourself again and lower your hand. Tap your name and tap the lower hand and mute audio buttons. You can return to the main screen by tapping the close button on the top left of the screen. Now take a look at the more button to the right of the participants button. Tapping on this will display a menu with more options. You can tap on the icons at the top to indicate virtual applause or thumbs up in response to what is happening currently in the meeting. Below that, the chat button will bring you to the meeting's chat window if the host has enabled it. You can also adjust settings, change your virtual background if enabled by your host, raise or lower your hand, and disconnect from the meeting audio. To get out of this menu and return to the main screen, tap the Cancel button. If the meeting controls disappear, as seen here, you can make them reappear by simply tapping the middle of the screen. If you wish to see multiple participants at the same time, you can swipe left from the main screen. This will take you to a screen similar to the one pictured here. Swipe right to return to the main view. The Zoom app also has a safe driving mode, which turns off your video and mutes your audio. Swipe right from the main view to enter it. You can tap the large circular button to speak while in this mode. Hamden Public Library does not endorse driving while using your phone, but this feature is a nice way to mute and turn off your video if you need to do so quickly. Finally, if you need to leave the meeting at any time, you may do so by tapping the red Leave button on the top right of the screen. Then tap Leave Meeting as shown here to confirm. Note that you may not be able to re-enter once you leave since hosts usually lock meetings once they begin for security reasons. That covers the basics of using Zoom on Apple iPhone. If you have more questions, feel free to email us at info at hamdenlibrary.org or chat with us on Facebook Monday through Friday between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. or 4 and 8 p.m. Eastern. For information on using Zoom on your desktop or laptop computer on an Android device or calling in via phone, please see our videos linked in the description. We hope to see you at one of our virtual Zoom programs sometime soon. Stay safe and thanks for watching.